Bright Horizons with Deb and Jim. Good morning, hola and buenos dias, Benvenuti, everyone. benvenuti. We're back. Welcome. Welcome, we, welcome. We love to be with you. And we wanted to highlight again Marie Pinschmidt, that wonderful yes. author and artist that we were with last week. Marie, we had such a blast. And thank you so very much, honey, for allowing us in your home to share your beautiful artwork, to share your wonderful talents with so with all of us. It was such a privilege and such an honor. And I feel so blessed to know you now, Marie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and Marie played the piano for us. She after did, the show. and I wanted her to continue and go on and on. There's Very no talented end to your talents, Marie. So yeah, you inspire me because I always say I'm going to study the piano. That's right. And look at the fingers again. Look at the yes. finger. There you go. So you have just like you inspire me. I have to. Okay, you have to do this. You have to be accountable, Jim. <laughs> okay, you'd be great at it. But anyway, and yes, And those Marie. beautiful paintings just mesmerizing, are for sale. They are so for sale. contact us, or we can get you in contact with Marie well, if you'd like to purchase website, it. she has her website, right? Yes, yeah. mariepinschmidt.net, P-I-N-S-C-H-M-I-D-T dot, dot net. And you haven't seen anything yet. Like I said, it just didn't justify the amount of beautiful paintings that she had in the closet, yes. that she had in the corners, that she, she, she had all over. She must have a hundred. So we didn't know which ones to pick from to <laughs> show you because they were all so beautiful. So anyway, yes, by all means, they're for sale. And Marie, we love you. And today's topic, we're going to talk about... Laugh with us because we're laughing. Look ha -ha. at this. It's just wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hear that laugh? I love it. Laughter is... I mean, hey, listen, you know, we were discussing, Jim and I, how it's so true. Psychologically, I don't think we realize that we do laugh more than we cry on a daily basis. Think about this. Very, very it's true. true. I'm not trying to play Miss Psychiatrist or Psychologist over here, but on a daily basis, you have... A smile rather than a frown. That's it. You're around people that make you, and even people that make you angry or upset or sad, you're still smiling more than you're Right. Frowning. Who would want to be frowning all day? Exactly. What a right? life that would be. Long-term effects. You know, the laughter isn't just a quick pick-me-up. It is good for you over the long term, period. Yes. Laughter may it, be a lot of different things. It just changes your life. It improves your immune system. Yes. Big time. Yes. I was thinking last night... Um, I had dinner with my sister Angela and John. Which Hi, I Angela. Love you. Hi, John. We do love you. And <laughs> on their, they they were married July first of nineteen seventy three. They went on their honeymoon to Bermuda, and who did they meet there? But another couple who got married on July first, the, the day before. Their names are Val and Ted, and they've become such dear friends. Imagine forty eight years these couples That's have been amazing. together. It's That's like amazing. sister and brother, sisters and brothers. Yes, yes. Sometimes you just meet people. And you, you, your personalities mesh. But what I wanted to say is, we were laughing the whole night last that's night. That's wonderful. Dinner. You see, that's what it's all about. Yes. You get together, family, friends, right. and laughter, and looking back on those wonderful memories. I mean, what's not to laugh about? Okay, so things are a little hazy, things are a little this, things are a little that. But there's always much more room for laughter. Yes. No matter what. So it was such an enjoyable evening, Val and Ted. I'm glad to like hear being that. With you. I'm yes. glad that you all yes. had a great time. Yes. You have to put humor. And there'll be more ahead. You know, That's right. Yes. Much more ahead. Yes. <laughs> you have to put humor on your horizon. Find a few simple items such as photos, greeting people, cards, comic strips, what have you. Right. Think about it. Remember growing up the comic strips? Yes. I used to love the Archies. And, and every Sunday when my my parents had the paper, I'd go for the funnies right away. Sure, Collect want, them in a file a or a yes. notebook. Right. Keep funny movies, TV series, websites. Anyway, laugh in the world laughs with you. <laughs> it's funny you just say Archie because I loved Archie. I did Veronica too. And was Betty. my favorite. And I know, Betty. right? Right. <laughs> oh, the Archies. Remember the song Sugar? Do, 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 do. Anyway, I can go on. You know me with this. I get it. Once I get going, ah. Oh. But the Archies was great. You know, I for some reason from time to time, you know, anyone who knows me really well, as you do, yes. I like to find humor in everything. I do have a vivid imagination. So just the other day, I felt like watching, of all shows, The Candid Camera Show. Okay. So I went to Netflix and I found some, not the original black and white, but the more newer episodes, but they are so funny. They are. They are hysterical. And it brought me back to a time when my parents would watch it. And I thought to myself, that is true humor. People take things, people such as we, us, all of us, we have a tendency of taking things so seriously. Right, and there's humor in every situation. And there really is. <laughs> if you just kind of like look at it and just stop yourself without jumping the gun and saying, wait a second, maybe that was meant a certain way. 
For instance, I've got to say this because this is hilarious on the Candid Camera show. Uh, there was um, uh, a maintenance worker and he had his outfit on and he claimed that he was with this city and he went to the front door and knocked on this guy's door and says, you know, I'm here. I have to deliver your new waste uh, buckets. And in the meanwhile, the guy's got two, keep in mind, okay? So he thought he was only replacing the two. So lo and behold, here's his truck. And it's delivering not two, but not three, four, but eight buckets, <laughs> different colors too, lavender, green, tan. And I'm looking at this, I'm thinking to myself, this poor guy, what he must be thinking. And he's like, oh, wait a second, I didn't hear anything about this. How come nobody else? He's looking around, he goes, nobody else has got all these buckets? And then he says, well, look, man, he says, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm going by the city ordinance. This is what I have to do. And, you know, this is our new system. And, you know, for the yellow, you have to put chicken. And for the, the tan, you have to put paper. He says, listen, I'm almost 60 years old. I can't remember my name. You expect me to remember what bucket to put the stuff in? So I'm hysterical laughing. But I'm thinking to myself, what a funny thing, because at the end, at the end of the segment, um, it was Peter Funt. Right. I, the brother of the, what was it, Peter uh, Funt? Al. I, I was Alan Funt, Alan was the Funt. father, and then <clears throat> Peter is the brother, or anyway, yeah. So he says, look, he said, because he saw that the guy was getting very, very agitated. So he says, I just need to do one more thing I need to do. Please turn around and look in the camera. You're on candid <laughs> camera. Well, the guy says, I knew something was off because I can't imagine eight buckets. He goes, like I said, I mean, some of the segments. Oh, and then there was a segment of a car. I'll say this and I'll shove about it because it was just hysterical. An employee takes their employer's car, brings it through a car wash, dark navy blue, and it comes out, looks like tie-dye. It's white <laughs> with blue spots. So the guy's a nervous wreck. He's like, oh my God, there's a problem here. <laughs> and nobody's fessing up to, oh, well, that's just the way. We have really strong brushes, sir. We have really <laughs> strong brushes. And I'm laughing. I'm thinking, my God, can you imagine just the feeling that goes over you when you see that? It's funny you should mention that show because funny show. In, at go. Cornell, I took a psychology course, and the the professor Yuri Bronfenbrenner, imagine a name like Bronfenbrenner. Wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cited candid camera is all a psychological study, and wow, and yeah. and my professor wrote a book. What do you say to a naked lady? <laughs> Just putting you into unusual situations, like when you go into an elevator. If everybody were to turn facing the back. Would you feel pressure to to to, to, right, to right, face right, the right, back? Right, 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 right. So it was it was a great course. The, pr the pr would you feel pressure to do the same? Thing? I I wouldn't be the one to join the crowd like that. But I, I would think feel most awkward. People, I think most yes, people would. Yes. There was an old segment to where it was a doctor's office. This is a black and white. I remember my parents watching this one episode as a young girl. I remember it very vividly. Um, everyone's quiet. They're waiting in the doctor's office, reading magazines, doing their thing, and all of a sudden this guy gets up. And he starts walking around the room, just walking. And then people are like are going like this, are going, and they're looking up at him going, what's he doing? And then they're looking around and sees him, all right. And then they're going like this, and then they're looking his, and then all of a sudden, they, one by one, they all get up and they start following him. And I'm like, really? oh my, it was hysterical. <laughs> I mean, but that has so much truth in it. Oh, the good old candid camera days. You know, and I look at Deb. Deb is another one who has an infectious laugh. And she's someone you want to be around. Aww, Whenever there's a social you. function, Deb is the one organizing it because she wants Aww. to bring happiness and, and joy to so many people. Well, I do. And, I enjoy doing that. And there are I some really people, you know, you just think about when you, like I have some relatives who watch this show, Fran and Bernie and Cindy, my cousins. Hi. All through my, uh, throughout my life, I remember them, smiles on their face, and when we're with them, we're laughing, and they would we tell some funny stories. That's and right. We would yeah. tell funny stories. That's right. And you just think of that way. And my cousin Nancy and Walter, the same thing. When I think of them, it's always happy times and, and laughter. Right. And you pr bring so much to each other by doing that. I know. Even with like my, yeah, everybody. exactly. Your cousins, my sister Lisa, my sister Holly, my brother David, all right. of my family, my husband Greg, right. my, my sister in law. I mean, I can mention the names go on and on. All of my family, I love and I adore all of you. Mwah. Yes. And, but, you know, and you all parents, bring love and joy laughter. to me. And, yeah. you know, and it's always, we always have fun things to talk about. We always have to reminisce because we've had so many beautiful memories and we're lucky to be together still, four siblings together yes. and have our cousins and even our second cousins. And I know? think it's the influence of our parents because, oh, it they, definitely because is. your parents brought love and, and happiness and so laughter. Much, so much. And then that instills in us those same qualities. And like your father and my father, they both were, my father was not in the entertainment business, but he loved to entertain 
yeah. uh, tell stories and sing. Oh, and he, he was the funny. life of, the, of any party. Yeah, you walk into the room, it was like he yeah. highlighted the room. He was a magnet. That's all I can say. Right. I can't just my say that. My father was the same way. It, it's just like he, he was electrifying. There was something about my father. And the same with my mom, you know. They'd walk in, but my dad had this presence about like, wow, you know. He had that twinkle in his eye, but we said that. Yes. And, you know, his laughing, it was his body language. Right, you see, right. You either so. liked him or you didn't, but for the most part, you loved him. You didn't like him. You loved him. And, you know, you have to consider trying laughing with the people that laugh with you. And the Yes, hey, and it's the energy level. Right. People want to be around someone with a lot of energy. Share yeah, a laugh. Make beautiful. it a habit. Yes. You know, make it a habit. Spend time with friends. More time than uh, we have, which is, you know, we all have to work and we're busy. We Re get it. Remember you know. in Reader's Digest, there was a section, Laughter is the Best Medicine? Oh, I remember that. Reader's Digest. <laughs> I and subscribed it was all to that. It was yes. funny stories. You know, it was really yeah. great. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now you're really bringing back memories. Remember, well, oh, my God, Double Day Book Club where you get yes. one of the books? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, when you laugh, endorphins are released into your body. Right, so you right. have the euphoric feel, feeling. Yeah. And it's just an expression of joy and humor. You know, of course know what isn't funny at the same time don't laugh at the expense of others some forms of humor aren't appropriate but you know you use your best judgment to discern a good joke from a bad or a hurtful one you know uh, laughter is the best medicine as we say but go ahead and give it a try turn around do something silly i know one time i um i tripped um and of course i had heels on and <laughs> I fell in front of some people. I was highly embarrassed. And I got up and I said, I also do magic tricks. <laughs> you know, I didn't know how to handle it. So right. I thought, well, okay, that's a, that's my comeback. But uh, yeah, laughter is great. You know, in India, there's even yoga called laugh yoga. Y laugh yoga, where they they uh, practice the what, the physiology of what happens when you laugh. And it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a yoga course called Laugh Yoga. It's wow. Wonderful. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Take stock of how you're feeling. Chuckle. I love that. Yes. Chuckle. Yes. That's a really great. You know, I was reading up on, too, how you can relieve pain. Laughter may ease pain yes. by causing the body to produce its own natural painkillers, believe it or not. There was a doctor in the yes. 1300s, Dr. Henri de Monville. Who actually, All these names, Jim. <laughs> How am I supposed to remember these names? He actually recommended <laughs> laughter for post-operative surgery See? to help you heal. Wow. Increase personal satisfaction. Laughter can also make it easier to cope with difficult situations. It also helps connect with other people. It improves your mood. Right. You know, uh, many people experience depression. You know, we all go through that. And sometimes due to chronic illness, laughter can help lessen, you know, um, your stress, depression, anxiety, what have you, and improve your self-esteem. And it's interesting. I've done my fair share of public speaking. Yes, you have. Especially I teach a lot of classes to the real estate agents in, in, in the area. Always have an icebreaker. When you start speaking, you always want to have something humorous to, to You're discuss. You're so good at that, Jim. Yeah. I've seen Jim many of times on stage speaking and lecturing. I mean, he's really wonderful. And you want I've them to laugh because then you connect with them. And even think of it. When they have the situation comedies on TV, what they, they would have in live audiences, yes, there yes. was always someone there warming them up, That's they called right. it. Well, a good, it was a comedian. Exactly, like um, Dean Martin, the, the roast, the Dean Martin right. roast. I still love those. Funny, funny, funny. And I get into my moods. So I have to put that on. Don Rickles. I mean, how funny. I mean, Johnny Carson, they were all hysterical. Lucille Ball, I love Lucy. Yes. Forget it. They're just terrific. You know, uh, when my mother had Al Alzheimer's at a later stage in life, she loved Dean Martin, and we would watch that Dean Martin laugh I adore show, it. The I roast. adore it. The roast, yeah. And she would just laugh, 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 laugh. And it yeah. was wonderful for her, because especially when you're starting to develop It was develop strengthening Alzheimer's. her immune system. Yes. It was really strengthening her because immune Because there's system. a lot of darkness that sometimes right. comes with that. And so if you could bring the happy part to it most Aww. of the day, we would just play those over and over and over again. Hey, listen, I said <laughs> you there with I, I Love Lucy episodes regardless. Yes. I know my mom gave me her whole collection of the VHS, which I still have, even though we don't use VHS. Yes. But uh, I still have them. Why get rid of them? They're a collection. They're wonderful, you know? And, you know, people go to comedy clubs. For why? To laugh. To laugh. You know, to laugh. It's, it's exactly. a wonderful experience. I mean, could, and you know what's really I find funny is when, and I do this quite often, but then again, if you know him, you'll, 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 you'll understand, especially my husband. Poor guy. What's up with me? <laughs> right, Greg? The saint. Uh, saint Greg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I say it that way, I could be quiet and we could be having dinner. And I swear to God, I do this all the time. I don't know why. I'll think of something funny. I'll start cracking up. I'll say, okay, now what's so funny? <laughs> and he'll read my mind. I say, remember what he's like, you think about that now, Deb? I says, I don't know why. But just <laughs> <laughs> he'll look at me and go, okay, what's so funny? 
but it's f I just think right. about things at random which is and great. I share them, yeah. you know. And it's well, a happy I, thought, which is it's wonderful. It's a happy thought. Remember when? Oh yeah, and then he'll start to laugh, and then we both laugh. So, and we put on our happy faces. Speaking of uh, comedy clubs, I wanted to relay this was so funny. In Orlando, there's one. At one of the resorts. Orlando, they have a lot of great. Um, and and I went this time along the strip. Yeah, went Universal. this time. Yep. Yeah. So when you go in, you're all facing the audience at like a bar and bar stools. Yeah. So they they like push the director had to go in, and here I am at the end of a, the wall, and then everybody else was to my left. And the show starts, and all of a sudden, a spotlight spotlight spots on me, and a telephone is on this wall, which I had not noticed, and it starts to ring. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, my God. And everybody's right looking you. at me, right? Obviously, they wanted me to answer the phone. Oh, my. Oh, no. <laughs> so I pick up the phone. And I said, hello. My voice now is magnified throughout the whole room. Oh this was goodness. a large room. Oh, my goodness. So the comedian on the stage says, hello, what is your name? So I said, Jimbo. You know, I made, made, wanted to be Jimbo. funny. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? I said, I'm an attorney. Now, at that time, there was a trial going on in Palm Beach. And I'm trying to think of the name of the of the person. But anyway... He related, so throughout the whole show, Jimbo the attorney was part of the whole show from that point forward. It was just a wonderful way to bring the audience into That's the, funny. Into the that show. That is so funny. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes, it was really yeah, a great you, experience. You mentioned Orlando. They've got a lot of great things. Is it Universal Drive, I think, where this, it's like, I'm, I'm and being Dis in Vegas. Disney has like an Disney. entertainment district, yes. too. We went, uh, we used to go every year to Orlando, Greg and I, and that was our thing, you know, or uh, Universal, Disney. And we went to a couple of dinner shows to Al Capone dinner yes. show, yeah. which were a lot of fun. We dress right. up and you feel like you know you're in the mob. And <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my goodness! But happy, it's entertainment happiness. for grown ups. Right. You know, it, it's wonderful there, in Orlando. We're lucky it to really have it. It really is. Yes. It's not too and far it's not away. That, exactly. It's not too far away at all. Two you know, and a half hours. And I was thinking of Santa Claus too, because what's he say? Ho ho ho! He's oh, it's oh, laughter. Oh, right? Merry Christmas! Right. We're bringing ha laughter and happiness in. Could you imagine if he walked in and said, "Ah"? <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, some of you oh. might know and remember that at Christmas time, I was asked to play Santa Claus years ago. So I put on the the outfit, yeah. and I said, "I don't look like Santa Claus, so I'm going to I'm going to be Santa Cruz Santa from the Cruz. South Pole." So I was Santa Cruz from the South Pole, and I would visit South America, Latin America, came into Florida, yeah. and I would entertain, and I would tell the story that was the night before Navidad, and all and through La Casa. Not a creature was stirring because we danced too much salsa. So I changed the story <laughs> with Spanish references. I love it. Yep, yeah, I love it. And, it. and I was I was invited back year after year yep, for Santa yep. Cruz to, to perform it. It was just wonderful because I brought laughter to That's people. Right. I really enjoyed that. Feliz Navidad. Da. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Which is coming Feliz up soon. Navidad. That's right. And, and we have a surprise uh, for yes, you. Yes, you're going to be seeing we a very a interesting video. around the holidays. <laughs> and of course, with this brilliant mind over here and the two of us getting together, we get silly and we put it together, but it always works. And we do it. Why? Because we have fun and we want to yes. make it fun for you. And another persona that I had years ago was Jimbo the Clown. Jimbo the Clown. I performed at, at, at ch children's parties. Oh, wow. How cute <laughs> Mainly for my nieces, my beautiful team, Aww, Marie and Christina. Yeah. And it was so funny because uh, they thought it was, a they didn't realize it was me. I had full do. makeup on, wig, you know, everything, and I was Jimbo the Clown. And I performed and I'd make these. I the, love doing stuff like the that. The balloons yeah, 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 yeah. The, they, into the different and animals. The different shapes, right? And little Christina, she was probably three or four at the time. Uh, when Aww. Jimbo left and then I came back a few minutes later, she said, you know, you have the same shoes as Jimbo the Clown. <laughs> oh, how cute is how that? How perceptive she, See, she, as a she child. noticed the shoes. Well, children don't miss a trick, <laughs> I tell you. They are dead. They, you know, they're but it was so big. much fun for me. And I had a, a buddy, his name was Kevin. We both performed yep. as clowns. And it was just, you know, real Speaking hoot. of that, my sister Lisa, when she was pregnant with Melissa... Her okay, first, back. and oh yes, and uh, I dressed up for her baby shower. Lisa, I know you'll watch this. I'm sure you remember that I dressed up as a clown. You I did. did. I did. A I, fellow clown. I jumped up on the chair, and I was, you know, in fact, we have it on VHS. Oh, I want to see this. Then, I want to see I it. Got to, I found out recently that there's a place called 60 Minutes that can transfer your VHS to yes. a DVD. You have to do it. I need to do that because, guy, I have so much, Jim, too much. Greg and I were talking about the other night. 
I just don't want them to go bad because they're right. just memories galore. But I do have a videotape of that. <laughs> I want to see. I want yes. to see. We might show you also. I mean, that would be so much. We're going to probably have to make longer segments now because of all the things that we want to share with you guys. <laughs> we'll eventually turn into an hour show, I guess, right? <laughs> Not bad. Not a bad thing. Well, we're going to have more guests in the future, too. Yes, yes, we so are. So we're really looking forward to that. It was such a wonderful time last week with Marie. Yes. So we're going to be doing that periodically. It was a great time. I had such but a But my voice is lower today. Oh, because of all the fun last night at dinner, Teddy there and Val you and, you laugh and John, so much. John. Yes, my voice is deeper and a little Laughter. hoarse. I just noticed it. <laughs> but you put on a happy... Drink yes. some water. Uh-huh. Put on a happy face. My voice keeps getting lower and lower this morning. Don't forget, we have rain here, too. It's not sunny in South Florida today. But we're bringing the sun. But we're bringing the sunshine to you. And you bring the sun to us. happy and... And you bring the sunshine to us. Laughing with us. And one of the songs we want to sing today, speaking of and, putting on a happy you know, face. Actually, there's a lot of great songs out there, but... There go the tambourines. She's a musician and, and a singer. Great skies gonna are gonna clear up. up. Put, put on a happy face. face. Off the, the clouds, clouds and cheer up. Put on a happy face. face. Take, Take off the gloomy mask of tragedy. tragedy. It's, it's not, not your style. style. You'll look so glad that, that you'll be glad that you decided, decided to smile. Pick out a pleasant outlook. Stick, stick out the noble chin. chin. Wipe off the full of doubt look. Slap on, on a happy grin. grin. Spread sunshine all over the place. Just put on a happy face. That's our motto today. All Put on right. a happy face. With, with rain, bring the happiness. <laughs> Put on a happy face. And just think of the number of songs about rain. Happy face. Let a smile be your umbrella. See? Let a smile turn, be your umbrella. Turn the rain into, into sunshine. Yep. And then don't worry, be happy. I mean, they're, they're don't worry. singing in the rain. Be right? happy. Singing, singing in, in the, the rain. rain. Singing in, in the rain. rain. What a glorious feeling. I got the words. Oh, here we go. I'm I'm laughing laughing at clouds so so dark dark above. above. The sun's in my heart. I'm ready for love. love. What a beautiful. Let the storm be clouds. And remember everyone from the place. Gene Kelly dancing with all that pouring rain in the movie. I have a smile on my face. And sing, just singing in in the rain. rain. Great song. Absolutely. So we'd love to bring those to you. And we, we thank you for as being you with us, see. as always. We're so happy. Happy, happy. Oh, if you're happy and you know. Remember that growing yes. up? Clap your hands. Oh, now we're really getting silly. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, shake your tambourine. <laughs> I love my tambourine. Sorry, guys. I get a little carried away, but it's fun. Yes, we want to bring happiness and joy in the morning. Boy, my voice is low. Oh, it's a, I think it has a lot to do with the weather, and you do a lot of talking. Let's take a poll. Women, do you think it's sexy to have a man have a low voice like that? I do. <laughs> do you think it's sexy? <laughs> Mr. Jolly. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us today. We're so yes, happy you're with us. Absolutely. We will be back, of course, next week and with another with, topic. Maybe with a guest. Maybe with a guest. Oh, also, I wanted to shout out to... Anthony Avalon. Yes, Anthony, he's in town, Anthony. I want to tell you how great it was to see you yesterday. You walked into the office and you surprised me. It was so good to see you. You're such a great guy. You're fun. Um, Jim and I love you. Yes. I know Carol Dubinsky adores you, loves yes. you. And it's so wonderful to see you. You're full of fun, full of yes. cheer. And you made my day. When yesterday. you think of Anthony, you think of a smile on his you face. You do. You're and a great he, man. And you bring happiness to so many people. In fact, I know you've been touring around visiting people. and. And I'm sure they're so happy to see you because yep. you bring that smile Absolutely. to them all. Absolutely. So, Anthony, we I love you. To, uh, t- talking about laughter and it's finding humor in things. Marie, finding humor in things. Marie Pinschmidt, my favorite author. We have to do her, <laughs> definitely. We have to listen to what she's got to say. Now, she paints, as you know. So she relates in this essay about a commission that she was uh, paint por- a portrait commission. So I just, it, I, I'm just going to relate it to you. It was a lovely, sophisticated lady who owned a restaurant in the French Quarter of New Orleans who asked Marie to paint her. So they they chose a seat, front forward approach, you know, the woman facing forward with her hands gracefully across her lap. Using artistic license, she asked Marie to make her look thinner. Okay. Okay. So she wanted Marie to paint her thinner than she was. So Marie agreed to do that and she did paint her thinner. So Marie, about six months later, sees the woman 
and she actually lost weight. She was motivated by the portrait, and she lost weight to conform to the portrait. Wonderful, wow. So Marie relates the story because it's, it's humorous that here, the, what, what, how many people would say to alter a portrait? Usually you paint the actual right, person. Right, right, of course. But here she did, and it was motivation <laughs> for the woman to lose the, the weight. So I thought it was such a clever story that I wanted to relay that, looking for the humor in situations. That is amazing. <laughs> you see, again, the psyche mind. So at the last line she says, so instead of attempting to make a portrait of a good likeness of the client, the client strives to be the likeness of the portrait. There you go. Thereby creating a new weight loss plan. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Marie. Very for well that said. With us. Very, very well said. And you know what a difference a day makes? It most certainly does, Jim. What a difference a day, a day makes. Twenty-four, 24 little hours. hours for the, the sun and the flowers. flowers. Where there used to be rain, what a difference a day makes. And the difference is you and you and you. And you better believe you make a difference. We all make that difference. We really appreciate you guys being with us, joining us today. We do. Have a great day. We'll be back next week with possibly another guest. Yes, and we and want to remind you. come back with some ideas. Yes. Have a wonderful day. Keep your horizons, horizons bright. bright. So Love thank you, all. you. Thank you. We really appreciate you with us, as always.